Ross Hillman with an encouraging word for you today from my devotional TGIF, Today God is First. Today's message is called Mixing Faith with Commerce. Your servant has nothing at all, she said, except a little oil. 2 Kings 4, 2. Her husband had died. There was no way to fulfill her debts. Her creditors decided to take her two sons as slaves for payment of the obligations that still remained. She pleaded for assistance with the only man of God she knew. Is there anything in your house? Elijah said to her. Nothing at all, she replied, except a little oil. Elisha then instructed her to go and collect all the empty jars that were uh, at her neighbor's houses and uh, ask for as many as you can, he said. When the jars were collected, he instructed her to pour what little oil she had into the jars. Well, the oil was more than enough to fill all the jars. In fact, there was more oil than jars to fill. Now go sell the oil and pay your debts. You and your sons can live on what is left, he said. God often mixes faith with the tangible. The widow believed she had no resources to meet her need. God said she had more than enough resources. She did not see the one jar of oil as a resource. It did not become a resource until it was mixed with faith. Her need was met with her faith and was mixed with the practical step of oil going into the workplace to sell what she had in order to receive her needed income. In fact, there was so much income, she was able to pay her debts and live on the money derived from the sale. Quite often, we forget that God works through commerce to provide for our needs. It is wrong to place total trust in commerce without faith in God. God often requires simple obedience to an act that seems ridiculous to the logical mind. It is this faith mixed with the practical that God honors. Do you have a problem that is perplexing to you? Do you see no way of meeting your need? God may have already given you the skills and talents to meet your need. However, he may be waiting for you to mix them with faith. Ask God to show you the steps necessary to solve your problem and be willing to take the next step. You know, when I talk to people who are in crisis or going through a lean time, I tell them, what do you have in your hand? What relationships have you not really developed? What type of resources do you have? Maybe in your house or a product or a service that you've never activated in your life. That's what the first thing we need to do whenever we run into situations like that. So let me pray for you today and that you'll be able to see what's in your hand so that God can use it. Father, I thank you that we all have resources in our hands that we've never thought, you know, were available to us to leverage and even develop income from those resources. So I pray for a download for each person listening today that they'd be able to know what they have in their hand that they could multiply. In Jesus' name, amen. (music) 